Okay, but in reality, it's a lot more complicated than this. So for any system of equations, which means uh, uh, Navier-Stokes equation or uh, most of the equations uh, we actually solve in in computational physics, uh, actually are system of conservation laws, and uh, computing what is f along the discontinuity is actually a equation dependent thing that uh, uh, like, like the general term of computing which way the shot goes and uh, what is the flux at the next instant right of the evolution of the shock is called uh, a Riemann problem so so basically you need to solve the Riemann problem for my f of i plus half. Uh, so this Riemann, pro this Riemann solver and uh, in a lot of cases the approximate Riemann solver determines how good your computational solution is going to be. Basically figuring out uh, how does a shock evolve in an infinitesimal amount of time. All right. So so let's based on let's figure out uh, 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 let's apply the knowledge we have learned to a particular equation for the for the Burgess equation and uh, see how do we get a solution to that equation that previously we were not able to obtain um, using finite difference. Okay. So let's go to our folder for lecture 12. We are going to make a function ddt finite volume. And we have time, which we don't need, and uh, a u. So in this case, my u contains the volume averages of my solution. Okay. So let's first get the length of u being the number of not grid points but volumes, right? And uh, if we have a uniform uh, grid, then the delta x is the one uh, the length of the domain divided by the number of volumes. Okay, and then what's next is I want to compute my f the flux so okay so the next thing in order to decide uh, which which f i'm going to choose i need to compute the speed of the shock right in order to compute the speed of the shock i need to compute my f so i'll just uh, compute my f is going to be equal to uh for burgers equation let's figure out what my f is so remember i have a uh, du dt plus u times du dx equal to zero so this is the burgers equation i'm trying to solve how can i write this equation into a form that is a uh, du dt plus df dx equal to zero what is the f for Burgess equation written here. In, in a lot of cases in the future you might have to decide if a differential equation can be written as a conservative form like that or not. So can can you write the Burgess equation in a conservative form? Yes? Would um, the f of u to be uh, the e to the like, g or something? Um, if f of u equals e to the u, okay, so if I take df dx, I would have uh, uh, df du times partial u partial x, right? 
dfdu would give me e to the u times du dx. Is that what we want? No, not really. Okay. So how can we get a form of f that actually gets me back to that Burgers equation? Basically, the question is, can you write the Burgers equation into a conservative form? Is this a conservation law? Can I use finite volume to solve this? Yeah. Yes. Or DFDU needs to be what? Wait. So, so this is what we want, right? Yeah. In general, we get DFDU times DU DX. What we want is U times DU DX. So DFDU needs to be what? Oh, it needs to be U. DFDU needs to be U, right? Yeah. What function has a derivative that is equal to its independent variable? What function of u whose derivative would be u? Oh, wouldn't that just be like half uh, squared? Yeah. Half u squared, square, yeah. Square. Yeah. So the proper f of u to make it uh, a Burgers equation is just a half of u squared, right? Yeah. So when you take the f to u, I just get u. So yes, Burgers equation can be written in a conservation law. I mean, this is a answer to this question actually determines if the Burgers equation even makes sense to solve or not. If you can't write it in a conservative form, and we have seen last time that it can actually form discontinuities, then after it forms discontinuities, the differential equation is no longer valid anymore. Right? It has to be able to be written into a conservative conservation form in order for us to keep solving the equation after it develops discontinuities. Okay? So yes, uh, the, uh, the f is actually u squared over 2 for Burgers equation. Okay? u squared over 2. Yes.